In this video, we're going to look at how to distribute a survey through Qualtrics. Um, once you have a survey set up, this this study with um, this particular one was set up using prior videos, um, starting with my Qualtrics overview video. But with any survey, it'll it'll work the same. Um, you want to first, of course, use the preview button so that you can look at your survey, um, see what it looks like um, when it's actually um, published. So if you click on that button, you'll see it pop open in another tab. And you've got this information. Um, this is just a sample consent form I put in there. And you'll see how it'll look both for um, here a computer screen and here for a cell phone. And you can work through it as if you were, um, you know, engaging in the, doing the survey yourself. And um, you can also send the survey, the link to this, just the um, URL you get at the top, um, to anybody you want that you want to review it for you. Um, once you're done with that, you want to hit Publish. It'll give you a review and often some, some recommendations. This survey is a little rough because it's just something I was using to demonstrate some features. And then once you're done, it'll give you this link here. This is an anonymous link. If you copy and paste this particular link um, into an email inviting people to take the, um, the survey or messages or a post somewhere on social media or however you're distributing it, it will be an anonymous link, meaning you will not be able to know who took the survey unless either you have a question that identifies them or they tell you. So. Um, that, that's something to be aware of there. It will be completely anonymous using this particular link here. Sometimes I like to take that link and put it into um, a link shortener. There's a variety of those that are available out there. I use bit.ly, bit.ly to, to shorten links before I put them typically into an email or something like that for people to, to respond to. Um, after you've done that, um, you can go over here to distributions. And you will see here that it gives you um, a variety of options, okay, a variety of, of different ways you can do it. If you click on the Distribute Survey, you get the, essentially the same options. Um, getting a single reusable link is what we basically had here, okay. And so using that particular link, again, everything that you get back will be anonymous. You won't know who it came from. But you also have, using again, this is using your own emails, you have this option for a trackable link. If you click on, click on that, what you need to do is, coming down, select contacts, list, new contact list. You can either type it right in here, okay, or copy or paste and upload it into here. And the thing you really need is the email. Um, more than anything, you're going to need the, the email or so. You can some of these other tools can also be helpful if if you know how to use some of the tools in a little more advanced way. But you'll need that upper, a contact list there, and then we'll send them each a unique email um, that will allow you to know um, whether or not they responded, and so forth. Okay, um, and of course you can put when it expires. And um, that's the, the basic thing that you would use there. Okay, now if we go back to this, oops, don't want to do that. Um, you get this same personal links clicking here. And um, doing that, you click on this spot and you get the same thing. So there's a variety of ways often get to the same place. Okay, so you've got the anonymous link you can send the same link to anybody. If you click on that, you're going to get that link again, okay, and the personal link again where you can um, give Qualtrics a list of people you want emailed. Now, the next thing you can do is using this email's link. If you use this particular email's link, what's going to end up happening here is um, Qualtrics will send the survey actually for you. So it's a step more than this personal links here. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to compose an email. Okay, you click on that particular button and you see this interface comes up. Okay, 
you want to have in here some reply to email, you can again use a list the same way. You can develop a new contact list, okay, and and pull that in there, and you can um, tell it exactly when you want it to send. You can use this custom feature to tell it exactly when to send. You want to put in a subject line here, and then you have this content editor. It's already given what you need. The survey link is already there. That'll take them to your survey. You just write your email here, and um, and then um, you're going to you can send a preview email which will go to you, or you can click on the send button or send in however whenever it is it's going to send it at that particular time. You can also save this for use later. Okay, you can um, within your if you click save as it'll save it within you can save it in a library here and pull it back up later. So that's something that's um, useful here. Um, advanced options. You can um, do the anonymous link here, regardless if it's sending it out, instead of the individual one, okay, and so forth. So, so that's the basics of using an email to send it. When you click on the social media options, it's basically just going to give you an anonymous link. So let's say, for example, I click on this tweet link, okay, it's going to log me in. It's going to want to log me in first, and then it's going to give me here a generic link. And it's really, um, um, it starts the writing of the tweet for you with a generic link there. It's really the same generic link that you would get up here using the anonymous link. So I haven't found this feature for me um, particularly helpful, except for it says here when sharing the survey, the social media site. It comes through a record in each response. So you'll find out if you um, use these various approaches, you'll find out which of the social medias, like Facebook, Reddit, whatever, um, they responded from, which should give you an idea of what's going on. I haven't ever used this um, offline app option here. Um, so, but I um, presume you'd need to talk to the sales representative for that option. QR code, I've used that before. Um, it's just really the anonymous link once again, but it has a QR code. So you can, if you want, copy and paste that picture and send it or download it here and send it however you want. And it's just another way of doing the same thing um, again with a QR code. Okay. And, um, so that's really the basics of what would be done here. You do have the option to, res to pause response collection if there's something going on, something wrong. But this is the basics of how you would distribute your um, data. You will see the data come in. First here in um, one place here is data analysis. Okay, and it will show them here in a table. It will show a list of, of the data as it come in. That is something that you can export if you wish to. Okay, but you can also, if you come to your main page here, your main Qualtrics page, it's going to tell you I don't have anything running actively. The new responses um, since last time you were here in Qualtrics and over various dates, how many responses you have. So that's what I usually look at first to see how my distributions are coming along.